Welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching Cook with Clara, where we get to post uh, new recipes about dinner, breakfast, lunch, supper, yeah, and all kinds of recipes. Welcome, welcome so much to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to prepare something so nice and something so hot, hot pepper. So today we are Pili pili ya kukanga. Yeah? Pili pili ya kukanga. In English is pepper. <laughs> Cooked pepper. So guys, join me. Let's prepare this. Uh, it's kind of a... Um, it's not salad. It's not kachumbari. Kachumbari kind of. Pili pili ya kukanga. It's like a sauce. So, uh, join me. Let's cook together. Let's prepare this. And for my ingredients, guys, um, Cooking oil is usual, salt, tomatoes, lemon, uh, this is hoho, then onions, then I have one glove of garlic, this is not the pili pili, uh, like uh, I, I cut them and uh, because it's dry up, like they are, they are dry but you can use the normal ones from the market. Then this coriander or jania, the leaves and the stems are separated. Mm -hmm. And to blend them. So, so measure the quantity with the quantities you're going to prepare. So that is tomatoes. Then now I'm going to add my pepper or pili pili. So, I want it so, so hot. And then I'm going also to add my cut onions. So, yes. Also my cut garlic. Then poho. Coriander stems. Then I'm also going to add some leaves. At this point, we're going to add our puree, the mixture we have blended. So, you give it a good mix, a good mix. The yeah, other ingredients you have there to mix the puree. Yeah, and let it to cook for around two minutes to it's even ready so I just want to give it like a more some more heat like two minutes and then we will be good to go so after two minutes we're going to add our lemon the lemon juice so The lemon is, is enough as long as the lemon has enough water. So that is it, guys. Our pili pili akukanga is very, very good. Ready? Our pili pili akukanga is ready. You can see it. Can you see? So that is how simple it is to prepare this. 
and uh, it's so delicious and so yummy. You can serve it with uh, rice, pilau, four types of rice, and also you can use it to dip like a sausage, samosa, it's like a sauce. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> after you wait it to cool, you can store uh, for future use. Uh, yes, so you can store it for fridge. It can last like two, three weeks, a month. Yeah, so it's very nice for those who love pili pili. Try this, try this, guys. You'll never be disappointed. And also for a cooler, like it's also an appetizer. It gives you that appetizing that uh, need I don't know, an urge to, to eat more and more and more and more so thank you everyone for watching this video to the end thank you thank you so much for cooking with me don't forget to subscribe make sure you subscribe you click on the notification bell and subscribe and like my video share with your friends and let's meet on the next recipe uh, yes on the next recipe bye